So today I thought I'd make a video as I get ready for Mount Rainier. Uh, I go through the steps on how I pack, go through what I bring, and we'll take it from there. But I do not claim to be a professional. I'm self-taught. I've been hiking and mountaineering for about 15 years. So take what you will from this. If you have any comments, I'd love to hear what you have to say about the video. All right, here we go. All right, well, we're definitely getting there. Um, now we're just gonna go through everything once more, double check, and uh, I'm gonna pack it up. All right, so double checked everything. Looks good, everything is on the table, laid out. So, uh, all of this stuff It's gonna fit in this. Now I'm gonna stuff my rain jacket and my rain pants down to the bottom. We got plenty more room down there, and if it gets wet, well, they're waterproof. Next, we're gonna put the Nemo switchback foam pad on the back. This will give the pad some stability once we're standing it upright. 
Next is gonna be the tent. It's gonna go inside. The first thing that goes inside through the top, it's gonna put it on the side right here. Now that the tent is on the side, that's the first thing I added to the inside of the bag. I'm gonna start filling around it with items that I am not going to need on the first day climbing until we set up base camp. So, that's gonna be most of the food, so I'm gonna put the freeze-dried meals down there. They pack up nicely and tight. And then I'm gonna put the jet foil and fuel down there. I'm not gonna need that until base camp because I'm bringing three and a half liters of water. So I have these really nice outer zipper pockets. They're actually quite big, and I'm gonna put all my clothes in there. I'm just gonna shove them in basically um, with items that I need less at the bottom. So we got the, the main harness right here in a bag. I'm gonna put all my carabiners, all my slings, Prusix, and um, I'm gonna put those in a bag too, just so I don't lose them. And then my crampons are uh, the Black Diamond, I don't know what model, but they didn't come with the, with the sack. But I have this extra heavy duty cinch bag here that I'm gonna roll them up in. Do not wanna put these in your bag without being wrapped. All right, so I'm not gonna need crampons, carabiners or ropes, harness. I'm not gonna need those the first day. Um, so I'm gonna put those in next. Now I'm going to put our 30 meter climbing rope in, it's already wound up, put it on top of these carefully. So I have pizza in the freezer, it's going to be for lunch the first day, possibly the second day. I'm also going to leave out some goo, nut bars, and gummies uh, for the initial climb up to Camp Mir just to keep it easily accessible. And I have these side pockets. These side pockets right here are really nice for just easy access here. Now, the rest of my food. Got some whiskey. I got a summit beer or camp beer, whatever I choose. All that's going into this waterproof bag. I'm actually gonna reuse this waterproof bag when I'm sleeping uh, actually to, to store my camelback inside at the foot of my sleeping bag so it doesn't freeze. Food bag goes in. I'm going to leave out the clothes that I'm going to wear climbing up on the first day to mirror. That does not need to be packed. So that's gonna be two pairs of socks, boxers, hiking pants, long sleeve shirts. And then I'm gonna 
be wearing a hat, sunglasses, and then I'm gonna keep uh, keep my windbreaker, this little jacket available, some gloves. If I get cold, put those on the side. Mountaineering boots, gotta keep those accessible too. Now all the items that I'm planning on wearing the first day, I'm gonna keep those separate. And they're gonna go in here because we're gonna wake up from the campsite and we're gonna get going. I have a really nice bag here, as you can see, storing a bunch of uh, first aid and other other items I might need. Lighters, extra batteries, first aid kit, hot hands, a wrap, got a whole bunch of stuff in here. This is going to go in next. I'm also not going to need my climbing helmet on the first day hiking up to Camp Mir. Um, I'm going to keep it near the top though, just in case. This is my parka. This is the Arcteryx Nuclei AR. I've rolled it up here into the hood. I'm just gonna shove it in here. Conserve a little bit of space. GPS is going on this nice little clasp right here. Nice little shoulder strap. My snow shovel and my two pickets are gonna go in the side water pouch, I guess is what it might be used for, but we're gonna put it there. Hiking poles are gonna go in this pile, so I'm gonna use those immediately. We are camping out the night before, pretty close to paradise. And so I'm gonna bring separate camping gear for that, just so I don't have to unpack and repack my already meticulous backpack right here. So, the packing spreadsheet that I made is more of a general guideline. I use that to not forget any main things from previous hikes that I've needed. However, during the process of packing, I do go through that list and edit as I feel is needed. So uh, just as a rule of thumb, I think it's a good thing to have a spreadsheet just so you can track what you have. However, don't use that as the end all be all. Always be thinking about what the conditions are and uh, what the particular mountain landscape is going to require you to bring. So, uh, final words there. Uh, also, you know, thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you next time.